Hey friends, Rob here addressing a trend that's just surfaced, cut for Bieber. Obviously you know about it, I have to enlighten you what the gist is. Young women cutting themselves in the hope of uh, Justin Bieber to stop using drugs, marijuana, whatever Justin's doing wrong. And the reality, friends, is cutting is really to a degree almost in the, the realm of a form of suicide because, you know, cutting your artery above your hand if you cut too deep, it's over, dude. You'll bleed to death. The blood. Now, let me tell you where cutting came from. It actually started in the Bible. So I said, oh, my God. Well, I am a minister of the gospel. I desire to subscribe to my ministry channel. Go for it. Under the search, Rob would want to also have many of the ministry videos where I expound, talk about the Bible, Christianity, heaven, hell, angels, demons, etc. I've worked with thousands, tens of thousands of young people in the state of New York the last two, over the last 20, 25 years. And I've seen young people cut themselves, and it's generally because they're trying to alleviate internal pain, and it's causing them to manifest and hurt and harm themselves to alleviate the pain that's inside because they're crying out for attention. Not necessarily for attention. This is real. When you battle depression, oppression, there is a demonic activity that can come on you and you can become vexed and you can almost feel like you have you're, there's a hopelessness about you. So the enemy wants you to cut yourself because the reality is, is many people that start cutting themselves can't stop because the pain starts to alleviate the pain that's from the inside. But the reality is, is the, the antidote or the way to cure this is through the love of God. God loves you. God cares for you. God's got a mighty and a wonderful plan for you. The, the, the fact is the Bible is very clear in the book of John in the New Testament, third chapter, 16th verse, simply states, For God so loved the world, he gave as a gift his only Son, that if you would believe, receive Christ, you'd not perish, you'd have everlasting and eternal life. And God desires no one to perish, he wants us all to have that insurance policy, a plan that when we all take our last breath, we can and we will and we're going to make heaven a home and desire to recite a simple prayer after me. Say, Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross for my sins. Thank you for being my Lord and Savior. God is the only one that can help you through your problems, your pain, your perplexities, your obstacles, mountains, whatever you want to tout or to call it. The Lord loves you with an everlasting love. Give God a chance. Invite him into your heart today. God only comes by invitation only. He'll never knock or blow the door down to your heart. God didn't create robots. God gave you a free will. You can accept him due to obedience. You can reject him due to disobedience. But know this, you control the doorknob to your heart. So, hey, again, if you desire, I'm a minister of the gospel. I work with youth. That's my specialty. Desire to subscribe to my ministry channel, go for it. I have a video on there entitled, how to Stop the Spirit of Suicide. How to Defeat the Spirit of Suicide. Check that out. Friends, the Lord loves you. Be blessed today.